Hmm. If we get a little bit of momentum, there we go. That's what we need to do. Give it a little bit of momentum before we have the jump and zip on our way down and not get impaled by that. What would that be? Telephone wires? Pipes? I don't know. The gravity puzzles in this game are actually really enjoyable. And there's where I expected everything to just fall apart. Alright. One, two, three. Oop. Ah, damn it. If I jumped, I would have made it. Alright. Wait for it to turn on. One, two. I'm going to go right now. Jump! Whoo, just made it. No! You fool! Wow, I was doing the worm for a second there. One, two. Now don't walk out into the hot, exposed plasma you like an idiot. One, two. Oop. There we go. I always thought it was on the count of three, but apparently the trick to this puzzle is just the count of two. It's a... It's a giant tire. I want to swing on it! Please, let me swing on it! Let me grab it in all its glory and swing on it! And gravity is totally being bent backwards right now because it's, the rain is going up. And now it's going down. And now back up. However, this gravity puzzle is on a timer, so we gotta constantly go back to reset it. All the way back up. Forward. Reverse. Going down, bus saws, gravity manipulation, and machine gun turrets. Now, I think it's on a timer permanently now. Yep. Gotta listen for the tempo. Going down. Ooh, just barely. The tempo, the music, it's swelling. There's a wall of light over there. I must go see what it has in store. And not fry my entire body onto a wall of electricity. Or break my legs. It was like I was being carried off to the heavens after I died with the gravity manipulation. It was like, oh, oh. Come on, that wasn't that far of a drop. Also, everyone heard me hit the button when I was right at, at that... At that right? Uh...
Nope, not that time. Damn it. Well, if any consolation, my torso made it to the wall. What does it mean? Well, that's up for debate, mostly. From my interpretation of the game, it's basically... You, you're you dead. Basically, you you, you died. It, that was either your, like, your mother, your sister, your girlfriend. I would, wouldn't say wife, because it's obvious that you're a kid, so it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. And basically... What you just saw was her burying you from the location you died. I guess she, like, fell out of a tree and was killed from the fall or something like that, which is kind of why one of the last few puzzles were, like, gravity-related and all that stuff. And so, basically, you're forced to just continuously go back and to the place where you died in Limbo, which is why it clearly just has you start a fresh game right from the beginning. It's the never-ending cycle! And that's the true nightmare. But hey, thank you all for watching. This was a real treat of a game, might I say. I'm surprised how much time it was, like, an hour recording. It was actually done in, like, one long, long play of it. I had a good time. I It was actually a free game at some point. I think every now and then it pops up as a free game. So if not, if it is... By all means, get it. It's a good, fun little puzzle platformer. If it's not, well, still get it anyways. Help support the developers who made this game. Because, after all, they made this, they made Inside, I still need to play that game, and maybe I might play it sometime in the future, but who knows. But, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this series. Thank you all for watching. Happy Halloween to all you all. And I will see you all next time. Later!